number 24. Solve the equations by taking square roots. Leave the answer in radical form. So this one, we're going to move over the 6. I'm going to get 5x squared equals 80. Divide by 5. I get x squared equals 16. And if you get the square root, you get plus or minus 4. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, on this one, move over the 12. You're going to get 2x equals 40. I'm assuming you could do 52 minus 12 without showing that. Divide by 2. And on this one, ooh, x squared equals 20. Get the square roots. You can't get the square root of 20, can you? So x equals 20 is 4 times 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 5. Solve by completing the square. Use radicals to write the answer. Okay, so we're going to move over the 2. x squared plus 8x equals 2. Draw your parentheses here. Square it. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Drop your x. Drop your plus. 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. Now then we're going to square root both sides. Can't get the square root of 18, so it's going to be 9 times 2, which is plus or minus 3 square root of 2. So x plus 4 equals that. You're going to move over the 4. You'll get x. The opposite of plus 4 is negative 4 plus or minus 3 square root of 2. Ooh, that was awesome. Okay, right here, let's move over the 3. X squared minus 6X equals 3. Draw your parentheses right here. Square it. You'll write down your X. Drop your minus. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Add the 9. You get 12. You're going to square root both sides. This is going to turn into 4 times 3, which is plus or minus 2 squared of 3. You'll get X minus 3 here. Move over the 3. That negative 3 is going to become a positive 3. So x equals 3 plus or minus 2 square root of 3. Ooh, that was super duper awesome.